candy bar pie, chocolate peppermint crunch, peace, love, and this week's special flavor, apartheid. That's right, Ben and Jerry's is this week's apartheid partner because they sell their delicious social justice flavored ice cream in Israel's West Bank settlements. Israel's settlements are A-list apartheid because if you're of the correct ethnic religious category in a settlement, you have voting rights, civil rights, political rights, even driving on a freeway rights, which are denied to your neighbors who are not of the correct ethnic religious category, even though the government of Israel still controls their lives. Two sets of laws and rights for two different ethnic religious categories, both under one government, that's where Ben and Jerry's is applying their famous progressive values and profiting from apartheid. Now, of course, Israel's settlements are illegal under international law, if you're into that sort of thing, and being the systematic forced removal of an ethnic or religious group from a given territory to make room for members of another ethnic or religious group, Israel's settlements actually constitute ethnic cleansing, but Ben and Jerry's is courageously ignoring that, and you should too. So next free cone day, stop by one of Ben and Jerry's Israeli settlement branches, if you're of the correct ethnic religious category, and order one of their special new flavors, bulldozer butterscotch, chunky checkpoint chocolate, ethnic peppermint privilege, peach peanut, apartheid surprise, super fudge, segregation swirl, Ben and Jerry's being a force for apartheid and making a few bucks along the way.